head. The more I look at it, the more this eyeshadow looks chunky. It's a really, really nice shade for lighter skin tones. The <coughs> blushes, wow, that was a lot. Wow, I don't know what else to say about it. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a... Is he at the top? You can't see him, but he's chewing on a box. Hello. Anyway. Today, today I'm testing out NARS Cosmetics. I've tested out minimal things from NARS, so I thought I'd just be interesting. I'm just chewing on so many boxes. I only tested out a couple of NARS products, so I got a few of their eyeshadows. I got two of their, like, what are these? The lip glides. Both look very dark. I got a lip balm because their lip balms, I hear Soph Does Life. <laughs> I was about to say Soph Does Now. I hear Soph Does Life talk about these all the time, so I went to try it out. I also have a mini of their blush. I used to have the NARS Orgasm blush, but I really didn't like it, so I got rid of it. But I thought I'd just test out a different shade. I also just got a mini of their mascara, because I have a ton of mascaras I currently have open. And then I have a highlighting palette and a bronzer. It's not the Laguna bronzer, it's like a new like light matte shade, which looks incredible. I have tested the majority of these out. We're doing my eyeshadow first, so I'll pull you in. That's why I have no makeup on currently. So let's pull you in so we can try these out. My skin is having a proper flare up at the moment. So I apologise. I also have the fan on because it is boiling in here. I can't have my windows fully open because Casper will literally dive out of a window and we're on the second floor. So I'm just going to use this white shade. I guess this is the Pandora Duo or something like that. You've got Pandora 1 and Pandora 2. This is Pandora 1. So I think this is actually more of a shimmer. I'm going to set my eyeshadow a little bit. Just like lightly. I don't really have any transitions, so I'm just grabbing my Just Peachy Matte Palette. A few brown tones in my crease. I have a bunch of these singles. Night Clubbing, gorgeous shade here, which I'm kind of tempted to use. They kind of go with my nails. This is in Argentina. Look at that, like duochrome. What? Which is like a minty shade. Minty green lime kind of shade. I use this black. I'm gonna put a little bit of that my inner and outer edge to make this kind of like a halo eye. I used this matte as a completely matte black eyeshadow look the other day. So pigmented and so nice. You have to be really, really, really careful with matte black eyeshadows because they can be, when they're like super, super pigmented, that's good. It's just that they can kind of get everywhere. So you kind of want to do this really carefully. Can you see them? Look at that head. <laughs> I really like this matte black shade. I'm having like a slight blending issue, but that's not due to, I think that's due to my eyeshadow primer. Like I said I've used this black before over the whole eye and it was great. Let's put this Argentina shade on. Not have as much payoff as I wanted. A little bit of eyeshadow primer down first. That's more like it. This one definitely needs some kind of tacky base. Finish off the eyes. I like how it turned out but I do think that the more I look at it the more this eyeshadow looks chunky. I do a full review and video on the NARS Climax. Sweetie! The wand is like, it's a kind of, it's a very fluffy wand so you get very fluffy lashes. Hello Casper. He's a toe. They're pretty like fluffy. I like it. I like this mascara. I love this packaging. I love, think the packaging is gorgeous for these bronzers. I think that it is nicely pigmented. Blends really, really nicely. I think it's a really, really nice shade for lighter skin tones. The Laguna was so much darker. This one's so much nicer. I love the formula. I highly, highly recommend it. The highlighters, so I have the Cheek palette. I'm not sure if this is still available. I wanted something like the Bank Disable palette, and this was kind of like the closest I could get. Like really nice, sheeny highlighters. Not too in your face. You can kind of tell in the palette, they're not too metallic. Really, really pretty, everyday kind of highlights. I'm gonna put on the lip balm, so my lips are kind of prepped. This is the Afterglow Lip Balm in Dolce Vita. really pinky. It's a really nice lip balm. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> then have the Dolce Vita blush. I got these in like a little duo because I thought I'd try something that wasn't so shimmery. Because I know that NARS have nice blushes. Wow, that was a lot. Wow. 
It took me a little while to blend out. You can see that it's got a nice amount of pigment. You can blend it. I'm just going to use the lip glides. So which one do I want to use? I want to use this one. I want to use Mars. They have like a flat paddle doe foot and they are basically lip glosses. Kind of a little patchy. The more I move my lips together, the more I put it on, the worse it kind of looks. It doesn't look too bad. So all in all, um, the lip glides, if you're going to have like a very nude colour, I suppose they might be okay, but the deep colours, I just find them pretty patchy. The bronzer is definitely one of my absolute favourites. Lip balm, I don't think it's that special, sorry so, but I think a lot of my other lip balms do exactly the same thing. Highlighters, if you like everyday sheeny highlighters, I think you'll love this. But if you want something really bright and beaming, that's not for you. Blush was actually more pigmented than I realised and I look crazy, but in real life it looks fine. Eyeshadows, the mattes are really, really nice. I really do love this black. Shimmers, I used Argenta today. He just really wants my attention. That will be like two minutes. Argenta I used today, it was really pretty colour, but it had no payoff underneath. It was just like, like a quite a nice shimmery glitter. The other shade's very similar. It's got this shade here. Not much to it, it's a lot of glitter. Overall, considering the price of NARS products, I think they're kind of of a brand. Products are just, I don't think they have the quality that I'm expecting for the price. I think that's the problem. If you enjoyed the video, please give this a like. Subscribe if you like it, I would really, really appreciate it. I will have my Pat McGrath one next. I probably should have just done Pat McGrath today. Bye-bye! <laughs> I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!